Good afternoon, my lovelies. Today is Monday, June 14th, and I got the date right, 2021. We are over in Dartmouth at the Portland Hills Terminal. We just got off of a uh, somewhat of a long bus ride. We are right at the border between Dartmouth and Coal Harbor, Nova Scotia. I will save Coal Harbor for another day. Now we got out here and I pulled out my pocket too. And I had such a brain fart. Pulled out the pocket too, was getting it all set up and everything. No SD card. It's still sitting at home in its little adapter next to my computer from Saturday's walk. Oopsie. Good thing. Good thing. My gimbal is always in my backpack. It is a muggy day out here. So this is looking towards Portland Street. It is a very busy street. On the Dartmouth side and just over this hill Portland Street turns into Coal Harbor Drive and you enter into the Coal Harbor neighborhood of the HRM and yes that is the Coal Harbor where Pittsburgh Penguins captain Sidney Crosby is from not that I follow hockey because I don't <laughs> So kiddo's with me today. I snagged him. He's got his Mooseheads gear on. He does like hockey. Not my choice. I did want to get him indoctrinated into the cult of Canada. Canada's national religion. So this area of of uh, Portland or of Dartmouth is Portland Hills. It is a fairly new subdivision that sprung up within the last decade or so. There are strip malls and little shops and that little sh uh, area that I just pointed to has probably one of my favorite Turkish restaurants that I haven't been to in quite a long time. This is the first time I ever had halloumi, which is delicious. Just feels weird having the gimbal out and I'm not live streaming. There goes the 61 bus that goes from here all the way to Scotia Square in downtown on Barrington Street. And it turns into the number 14 and goes all the way up to Spryfield. Now Portland Hills area has been building up over the last decade or so. Before all that, it used to be just woods. Oh, I almost went. See, blonde roots underneath this pink hair. So I should mention that this video is probably gonna be split into two pieces because I wanna go from here all the way down to the waterfront. And this might be a two-parter. That's okay, I don't mind splitting things up. Except for couples. What do you think, Mark? I think that's a good idea. 
He's chomping away on some gum. <laughs> So I was actually up early this morning. Well, early for me, it was about 9 a.m. And I did some stretches that I found that would be beneficial for my knee. So I did that. And instead of having coffee for breakfast, like with my breakfast, I just had some, uh, some water with a couple squirts of the Mio just to liven it up for a Monday morning so I threw in the lemon. And right now I am so glad we're climbing down this hill, <laughs> going down. Because it is a big hill. So way off in the distance, you can see what we call the Baker Drive area of Dartmouth. It's like their version of the Larry Utec over on the Bedford side. That used to be an old uh, pig farm. Way, way back in the day. And when the gentleman that owned all that land <laughs> passed away, his kids sold the land to the city for a very nice piece of coin because it is uh, valuable, like it's very, very, very uh, desirable. Now because it's on the site of an old pig farm, when they tore everything down, the rats had to go someplace. So rumor has it that in a lot of the new buildings, there are rats down in the parkades. I could be wrong, but that's the rumor I've heard. So on either side of us are subdivisions behind the trees. That's the 68. I think that will take you out to Cherry Brook, maybe around Bissett Road. And that's where the Salt Marsh Trail is. That is where we came from. Now this is something that we're known to have here. Well, see, I turned my camera and the horizon line gets all funky on me. Does anybody else have lupins where you're at? They're very pretty. They come in like shades of pinks and purples and whites and they smell like pepper, like ground black pepper. So you can see part of the Portland Hills estates, which are, which is a nice huge suburb, uh, yeah, suburb, but uh, subdivision Portland Hills connects to it now the Portland Estates were built in the 80s so they still kind of had that 80s uh, architecture for the homes And in the middle of it, there is a huge lake. And I just can't think of it at the moment, but I'm put it down. I'll make a subtitle for it and tell you what lake it is. So there may be homes there that have lakefront property. So we're still going down this hill. Oh, Mark wants to show, yeah, he blew a bubble. <laughs> Quite the bubble. He nods. I was that kid that always blew bubbles. Too big and they would like pop and go all over my face. 
And by the time I was 11, that's when I got glasses. <laughs> Technically, they, at the time, they were only for reading, schoolwork, and television. If I was outside playing, I didn't need them. But if I was chewing gum and I blew a bubble, I didn't get gum in my eyes. Because <laughs> my glasses protected me. Now, it doesn't matter what time of day, the street will be busy. So once we get past <laughs> the trees on the right, we're going to be more into a commercial area of Portland. It's quite the hill, isn't it? Look at it. I know, it's massive. And it just keeps on going from that turn. <laughs> oh, trampoline. Care for a jumpy jump. <laughs> it is lupin season. We do find lupins uh, like anywhere along the side of the roads and highways. When we were little, my sister and I used to pick them and put them in water for mum. I have to say mum because if she watches this, I have to say it with a U sound instead of an O because it's usually mom. And she uh, gives me the evil eye. I still listen to my mama. She brought me into this world, she can still take me out. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mark? What's that? I said, Grammy, she can, she brought me into this world, I'm sure she can still take me out. Oh, really? Yeah. But she won't, because I'm her favorite. <laughs> Okay, I swear, we're almost at the bottom of this ginormous hill. I would not want to be a person on a cycle to go up this hill. What do you think, Mark? Mm, probably get fatigued. If you're on a bike climbing this hill, yeah. Most definitely. Looks like the sun is trying to poke out of the clouds. the number 59 bus that uh, we took here so that is going all the way back to the bridge terminal which is right across the road from the McDonald Bridge Whew, somebody let off some exhaust <coughs> Whew, stinky I know, this is just the boring part. My apologies for the last 10 minutes of us walking down a hill. But man, I'd rather be walking down it than walking up it.
So the trees that are beside us on the right, um, they're just there as a buffer between the, uh, the subdivision and this busy road. Well, these are different looking. Hmm. If anybody knows what those are, because they're purple, let me know. They look like ginormous thing, like, you know, the, pu the puff balls that uh, dandelions turn into. That's what those remind me of, but they're purple and like three times the size. <laughs> Now this is Portland Estates up here on Now at the time when Portland Estates was built in the 80s it was considered very shishi poo poo had a lot of bigger homes homes with pools lakefront homes I guess I can go now. <laughs> You're up to no good, kiddo. <laughs> He's gonna try to blow a bubble. Right now it's an epic fail. Do it, do it. He's like totally taken over my, my video. He can't even do it. You know why? Cause he's been chewing this gum for the last 20 minutes and it probably got all hard and chewy in his mouth cause it was from a gumball machine. So I need giggles. So that's where we just came from. Let's keep on moseying. So, <laughs> this road is a 50 zone. I've seen a lot of cars where that radar thing has been in the red when they're going over it. Oh. That idea almost got mine. Are you trying to like photobomb my, my video? Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. I'm just watching the numbers. So this is a five lane road right at the moment. Three on this side of the road coming towards me and two lanes on the other side. This street is very notorious to be not very pedestrian friendly, especially at uh, crosswalks and everything. There have been many accidents and people hit. and drivers charged. So for those wondering, my knee is still feeling okay. I'll keep you updated during the video.
switch hands. Had to roll up my sleeve, so I gave the gimbal to Mark. The gumball, no, the gumball. Oh, don't I make a funny name for a gimbal. Uh-huh. My son, he thinks he's a comedian. <laughs> oh, he is. Now, this street always has accidents, even though people do press the button to cross. So... The city has implemented little orange flags so drivers can see when you're crossing. So you take it from one bucket and you put it over when you cross the street, put it back in the other bucket. And there's Camp Bow Wow, a doggy daycare. Ooh, it, it's all overgrown now. You can somewhat see it. But under here used to the little brook used to be a lot wider. So Dartmouth is still part of the HRM when it was amalgamated back in 1996, I believe. Now for those who are born and raised in Dartmouth, it's still a separate city instead of being all part of Halifax. Both cities have their unique personalities and neighborhoods and and whatnot. Here's a suburban looking shopper's drug mart with a second cup. Now at one time, where the superstore is, <laughs> it used to be just the superstore and a movie theater. It was, oh, what was it? A Famous Players, I think? Maybe a Famous Players, or maybe it could have been still Cineplex. Or Empire Theaters, that's what it was. Which was owned by Sobeys. But rumor has it back in 99, the summer of 99, Armageddon came out. And selfie. it's not a selfie. So what happened was Armageddon was playing at that theater. And since it's away from downtown Halifax, Bruce Willis watched it like he went with his girls because at the time he knew the area because 
his then wife Demi Moore was had made a movie a couple years earlier in the South Shore down in Shelburne when she did the Scarlet Letter with Gary Oldman. So they became very familiar with the province and I think this was around the time they were divorcing so just to get away from all that and have a movie come out he was here but that's a rumor I could be wrong do you need a Tim Hortons mark no. okay so little strip malls that we just passed now in here there is Misu, which is an all-you-can-eat sushi place. Now normally, so all-you-can-eats are like touch and go, but I find with Misu, it's probably the best one in the whole uh, municipality. And you order from an iPad. So there are a few car dealerships on this street. I'm going to I mean, for the time of day that it is, Mark, what time is it? What would you say? 2.25. 2.25 Halifax time. And look how busy the street is. It's like, holy. Holy moly. Oh, a big truck. Take a looky. So to the left, car dealership. To the right, side streets that are residential. And a lot of those homes are post Second World War built. Nice billboard for Newfoundland Labrador. I do believe they are fully opened for vaccinated visitors. I've never been to the rock. It's on my list. Now, Stakenstein doesn't have a patio, but they are open for takeout and they do delivery as well. But that is a local restaurant here. There's a location in Halifax as well. That's Baker Drive up there. Ooh, a little breeze. So Portland Street pretty much connects downtown Dartmouth to the suburbs. So it still has that suburban feel to it. I have one strap on my backpack that likes to fall off my, my shoulder. 
and gas is pretty darn pricey if you can see that that says 129.8 welcome to the maritimes i mean i get that gas is going to be high for a while but come on man hard times in the maritimes people <laughs> construction down there. another strip mall oh okay there used to be an Outback Steakhouse there and it's gone for those who are local you're probably saying but Bev that's been gone for a long time my argument for that is Bevy doesn't come over to Dartmouth especially this area hardly at all we got a Wendy's there is another Wendy's down by the Mc uh, McDonald Bridge now this is going to be fun we're going to try to cross the street here now I remember when that enterprise I believe that used to be a Chinese restaurant years and years and years ago and it became a Honda dealership. And now it's Enterprise. And straight ahead of us is another shopping plaza. And that's uh, Woodlawn. So we're in the Woodlawn neighborhood of Dartmouth. Got a nice little breeze blowing on my back. I wonder if they have the strawberry frosties over there. Not that I need it. A moment on the lips, a lifetime on the hips, as they say. I remember at one time there used to be a Kenny Rogers Roasters right behind the Wendy's. You can see kind of like a grayish peaked roof building behind it. And Harvey's used to be there. I got food poisoning from that Harvey's, so that's what turned me off on Harvey's. So this is where Portland Street meets up with the Circumferential Highway, which is Highway 111 here, that goes all the way from the McKay Bridge, all the way around the old part of Dartmouth, down to Woodside on Pleasant Street, not too far from the Pleasant, uh, from the uh, Woodside Ferry. And not too far from John's Lunch, if Godwin is watching this video. But I won't be going to John's Lunch anytime soon even though it does have the best fish and chips in the city. Alrighty, after this Toyota, I will go. I hate this intersection. <laughs> Stupid, crazy, busy. I'll get you to push the button again. Oh, the Frosty's taunting me. 
that I'm going to be a good little girl. Keep an eye on the light. Now I know why I don't walk around Portland Street. <laughs> it's kind of like, take your life in your hands. So I think... So I think what well, what I'll do is um, when I get up to where the Portland or where uh, Penhorn Terminal is, I am going to uh, stop this video, take a little break, and have a snack. I brought snacks in my backpack. You pushed that button, didn't you, Mark? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's long. It's, I'll be 50 by the time this light changes. But uh, yeah, once we get across the, the highway or on the overpass, then we will um, have a snack and then I'll fire up part two. Or as they say in French, part deux. And do I speak French? Eh, un peu. Just a very little bit. Or as they say in Spanish, un poquito. Oh my God, my hair is gonna be gray. Er than it already is, waiting for this light. Oh my God, oh my God. And the cars drive fast around here, so I'm not ch chancing it. Yay! It's about stinking time. Now I've heard from you, my lovelies, saying that you do like my little commentaries on here. I'm just talking to you as if I was talking to you if you were walking beside me and you've never been here before. I'm still flabbergasted at a dollar twenty nine point eight. Like, wow. Wow. Okay, so we have to climb up a hill. There's the Coke truck. Please have cherry Coke on there. Or Coke Zero with cherry. Uh, yeah. So that gray building right there at one time used to be Kenny Rogers Roasters. Yeah, I'm taking that way back to the... Uh, Ooh, gosh, mid, early to mid 90s. And beside that was the old Harveys. Do you want to carry this? Just, uh, there we go. Watch out for the uh, gentleman walking. So right now, I'm gonna walk beside Mark. He's holding the gimbal, just to give him some practice with it. So I'm gonna get him to move over to the left. To the left, so I can get up beside you. Thank you. Okay, he's not paying attention to what's on there. That's okay. That's how you learn. <laughs> Dartmouth Dodge, I think it is. Okay, you're gonna hear me breathing. There's where we were. Portland Street kind of snakes. It's a little like curvy, like me. So 
so we're coming up to the overpass for the 111. I have no choice but to cross sidewalk ends. I don't see any cars coming. They need to fix this sidewalk up. Almost tripped over a, a pothole. So that is the highway 111. Once you get past McMack Mall, it uh, you can go way off at one of the exits to get to the Woodland Avenue to the mall. Or you can keep going and take another exit to keep going towards the airport and past Dartmouth Crossing where IKEA is way, way off in the whoops, in the distance. <laughs> It's quite windy up here. So, my lovelies, I think I will end part one here. It's been 43 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this. Part two will be a little bit more interesting because we'll be on the residential part of Portland Street. If you do want to support the channel, I do have links down below for my PayPal and Patreon as well as channel membership. I do want to thank all my channel members and Patreons, and especially to my top-tiered Patreons, Vivian Johnson, Michelle Gray, DQ, and Ozzy Johnson. All your support helps with the, uh, the cost of having a YouTube channel, and it's much appreciated. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe down below. Click the bell notification so you know when I'm going to be uploading or live streaming. And I will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye.